paddling, kids. Hmm, what do we have today? Oh, look, there's a little note. Let's see if it gives us a clue. <laughs> it's a joke. Why did the dragon cross the road? Any guesses? Let's take a peek. To get to the taco party? What? Let's unwrap so we can find out what our book is today. Any guesses? I think I know what it is. Dragons love tacos. This book is hilarious. Stick around after we take our sneak peek at Dragons Love Tacos to find out what our activity is. Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. After all, dragons love tacos. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. Craft time. It's time to open our activity package. Play-Doh Kitchen Creations. I think they want us to make some Play-Doh tacos. What do you think? Look at all these Play-Doh tools! We can make lots of tasty treats with these colors. Today we'll be using the colors blue, yellow, orange, green, and red. First, Roll the Play-Doh into a ball and then flatten it to make a round tortilla. These are very special blue corn tortillas. Let's use yellow to make some corn. Orange cheese. Green lettuce. We'll use red to make our tomato. Let's use the blue butcher knife to cut through the corn. We'll use kitchen shears to cut up the cheese. And the knife for the lettuce. And tomato. What type of tacos will you make for your dragon party? 
cuddling kids. Dylan the Villain by K.G. Campbell Mr. and Mrs. Snivels were minding their own business when they happened to have a baby. Congratulations, said the doctor. It's a healthy little supervillain. Mrs. Snivels was quite surprised. There aren't any villains in the family, she said. Or are there? Mr. Snivels didn't say anything, but there totally were. The new parents named their little boy Dylan. They discovered that supervillain babies are much like any others. They can even be allergic to everyday stuff, like purple parsnip preserves. But by and large, Dylan's parents figured he was just about the best thing ever. Dress up extraordinaire. Dylan's supervillain costume, they said, is super scary. Bwahaha! Dylan's supervillain laugh, they insisted, is super crazy. Navy t-shirt cape. Green sweatpants. Blue sweatshirt, green felt D. Blue superhero mask. Blue rain boots. This hideous trophy, she declared, will be awarded to the people who creates the most diabolical robot. Principal Sinister will be the judge. Each pupil was given a box of parts from the diabolical robot supply closet. That hideous trophy, found Dylan, will be mine, all mine. Lego Creator, Robo Explorer. This is the most diabolical robot. It has a monster claw. A light-up cannon. And laser beam eyes. It is sure to win the most hideous trophy. Uh-oh, what's this? Purple parsnip preserves? Oh no! Cuddling kids. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? By Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. How does a dinosaur say goodnight when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does a dinosaur slam his tail and pout? Does he throw his teddy bear all about? How does a dinosaur say goodnight when Mama comes in to turn off the light? Does he swing his neck from side to side? Does he up and demand a piggyback ride? No, dinosaurs don't. They don't even try. They give a big kiss. They tuck in their tails. They whisper goodnight. Non-fiction buddy book. Encyclopedia Prehistorica, Dinosaurs, by Robert Sabuda and Matthew Reinhardt. Everybody loves Tyrannosaurus Rex, but according to Encyclopedia Prehistorica, there are now two new dinosaurs that are bigger than T-Rex. Shield bears, like Stegosaurus, had hard shells kind of like tortoises, but many of these dinosaurs also had spikes to defend themselves. Some raptors, like the pterodon, might have had feathers and could fly.
long neck giants like Apatosaurus needed to eat hundreds of pounds of food a day. So maybe next time you're hungry, you say, I'm hungry like an Apatosaurus. Scientific Adventure Today we'll be doing a dinosaur dig. Have your brush ready. Gently brush away sand. This is different. What could it be? Is it an egg? Be very gentle. Carefully lift the egg. Wow, what an amazing blue dinosaur egg. Let's see what's inside. Ew, slime. This is really special. Wow, look at this dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur do we have? Looks like a meat eater. It has short arms. It could be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This scientific adventure featured dino slime. Cuddle in, kids. Little Blue Truck by Alice Shirtle. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. Little Blue Truck came down the road. Beep, said Blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when Little Blue Truck went rolling by. Sheep said bah, cow said moo, oink said a piggy, beep said blue. Honk, yelled a dump truck, coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Vroom, went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. Honk, cried the dump and he sounded scared, but nobody heard or nobody cared. Into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Now blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. All together, one, two, three. One last push and the trucks were free. Beep, said Blue, who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, cluck, peep, neigh, croak. Ma! Musical Playtime Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on this farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on this farm he had a Cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a pig, 
E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. This musical playtime featured Melissa and Doug's nesting and sorting barns and animals. Cuddling Kids Olivia by Ian Falconer This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog Perry, and Edwin the cat. Dress up extraordinaire. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat, and brushes her teeth, and combs her ears, and moves the cat. Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. Olivia is all about red, black, and white. She has long pink ears. She loves accessories. Pink piggy tights. And more accessories. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sandcastles. She got pretty good. Kinetic Sand Let's make a sandcastle. Make sure you pack the sand nice and tight. Three towers. Two walls. Small tower. Fancy turret. Oh no, our tower's leaning. Let's build a road. For the full story, please purchase this book or check it out at your local library. For more cuddling kids, please subscribe.